Hi everyone, it's Jake. Last video we were talking about Streptomyces and the reason we're so interested in them. Most of known antibiotics come from Streptomyces and we're hoping that in one of the soil samples that you've collected we'll find a new type of Streptomyces and an antibiotic that we haven't discovered before. In order to do that we need to isolate a single strain from the bacteria and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to have a look at the plate from the last video. So these are the colonies that we think are Streptomyces, but there are a lot of other things going on. In order to be sure that they're Streptomyces, we need to isolate them from that plate. In order to do that, we have to do some streaking. This is what we use for that. This is a sterile loop that we heat up in the Bunsen burner to be sure that there's no bacteria already on there. After leaving it a while to cool down, we pick a part of the bacteria so that it's on the loop. And then we put this onto a fresh plate. Then we have to re-sterilize the loop to remove any excess bacteria. and then we spread it around the plate. The reason we do this is because we're hoping to isolate a single colony of a single strain. So when we've done this, it can be grown in the incubator and in the end, we end up with something like this.